Hello guys, and today the Minecraft 1.20 update just came out, the 7th of June. So today we will be looking at everything that came out, at, well basically most of the new things. So let's now take a look at the very first thing. So let's start off with the new wood. First new wood is bamboo wood. This is it's a very special wood, because it's the first ever wood that doesn't come from a tree. It comes from bamboo. So, let's take a little look. So, first of all, here we've got the bamboo stem. This is a block of bamboo. Here we've got a block of stripped bamboo. Here we've got bamboo planks. Bamboo mosaic. And then we've got the staircase variants. And you've also got fen fences and fence gates. Doors. Trap doors, the pressure plate, the button, and of course, the brand new rafts and the chest raft. There we go, we can, there we go, we can sit in these. Actually, I like the fact that they're a little bit different from the regular boats. They're just like rafts. So, let's now take a look at the second wood, cherry wood, and it's another one of the nice woods. It comes from the cherry uh, the cherry blossom, but the only issue with that wood is it's kind of a weird tone of color. I would see it more in a fairy tale build rather than something that I would build. I would use more of this rather than this, but let's still take a look. So first we've got the cherry log, the cherry stripped log. Here we've got the wood. Here we've got the cherry planks and the other variants. We've got the door, trap door, pressure plate, button everything and of course the boats yeah we need the boats as well oh it's the the wrong way okay well here we've got the new the two the two the two new woods coming out in 1.20 we've got bamboo and cherry wood let's now move on to the next new thing so next we have all of the new signs now actually the signs on the bottom are they were they are updated but they aren't new. The new signs are the hanging signs. These are all new. The the, the old signs are just under but they were they did get a little bit revamped, they got fixed and the fix is that now you can actually edit them. But the main thing is the um, the hanging signs. You can also write on the back. Yeah, you can write on the back, you can edit the signs, and you can of course colour them and of course we've got a hanging sign for each of the different woods, including the new cherry and bamboo wood. Every wood has a spe has its own hanging sign. I don't know what to say. I'm very happy that these hanging signs were added. It's kind of a nice addition. It's nice to have like signs that just hang from things. It's, it's pretty nice. And also, also I really like the I really like the new updates. That the new update is of course you can edit them and also write on the back. That's so useful so thank you mojang for these new signs let's now I'll move on to probably the biggest thing added in this game the new armor trims yeah there are like 15 armor trims there are a lot of th there are a lot are a lot of trims when i mean a lot i mean a lot a lot an insane amount of armor trims yeah it's a lot so let's take a look at each of them. So here we have the smithing template. This is how you upgrade to netherite. So let's move from first to last. So in, first of all, we've got the the oh it doesn't tell the sentry armor. Next we've got the vex. Then we've got the wild. Then we've got the coast armor trim probably the easiest one to get then we've got the the june armor trim here we've got the the wayfinder armor trim then we've got the the razor armor trim the shaper armor trim and the host armor trim next we've got the ward armor trim and then we've got probably the coolest one the silence armor trim but the hardest one to get to 
Here we've also got another cool one, the Tide Armor Trim. I really like the Tide one. We've also got the Snout Armor Trim. We've got the the Rib Armor Trim, is another cool one. The, the Eye Armor Trim, this one is super interesting. And finally, we've got the Spy Armor Trim. I also like that one. So, now let's look at some little um, variations. Whoop, just need to clear my inventory. So here are the different variations. So we can get Emerald, Lapis Lazuli, and we can actually have Diamond on Diamond. And actually the nice thing is that Diamond here isn't just the perfect shiny Diamond. It's more of a Cyan Diamond. I really like that. We've also got Quartz. Now Quartz, I really like that one. I think my favorite is probably the Amethyst one. Wow, this is gorgeous. I think my two favorites are the Diamond and the Amethyst. We've got the Iron Trim, the Iron Material. We've got Copper, cap, Copper, Copper. We've got Gold and Netherite. Now, Netherite is a pretty interesting one. It's like, it's almost a jet black color. It's a very, very dark purple. So if you want like a dark color, then that, that will work got redstone now redstone this is more of a blood red i don't know and now here are all the armors with like all of the different armor trim different types of armor with gold on them so here we've got leather with gold looks really nice but kind of useless um this is iron with gold now <laughs> kind of looks lame gold on diamond does look pretty nice yeah i meant diamond on gold <laughs> Diamond on Netherite, probably the one that I will use. I love this. I also like Iron on Iron. Iron on Iron kind of looks pretty sleek. Gold on Gold kind of looks nice too. And a Netherite on Netherite, I, I, I wouldn't use that because like, there's barely any difference. It's hard to tell difference. So, so these are... Oops. These are all the different armor trims. There are a lot of armor trims. And they even have a back part to them. Wow, pretty interesting. I didn't realize. So, yep. Yeah, all the armor trims. Probably the biggest thing added. All the armor trims. So, let's now move on to probably the next biggest thing. Archaeology. Next, we've got the archaeology. And look at all these pots. I, I've Yeah, that's a lot. So, let's move through them. So here we've got like a fishing pot. I'm not I'm not just gonna like read the actual name. Here we've got archer, here we've got like a human. This is like a sword. I think this would be potion. Fire creeper. I don't know what that map maybe? I don't know. Um I don't know whether I think it's supposed to be wither or something. What is it? Friend. This doesn't look like a friend. Yeah, these things were quid. Heart, broken heart. Wolf, pickaxe, goblin, <laughs> what is that, M mourner, mourner, hmm, interesting, just like a chest, the diamond, something, <laughs> mushroom, I would guess, um, this is definitely a skull, and this is turtle, so these are all the different pots you can get, there are a lot, there's a lot to this update, yeah, it's pretty insane, there's a lot of stuff. Look at all these pots, these decorative pots. Now, to find these, you're gonna actually need to do some archaeology. It's gonna be a little bit hard to find, and you, you're gonna need to do a lot of exploring to get every single one of these. But yeah, so there are all the little ancient pots. Now let's move on to the archaeology thing. So, here we have suspicious gravel, suspicious sand, then we've got a plain pot now. You can actually craft these plain pots by just using four bricks in the crafting table and you get a, a plain pot. And then we of course got the one and only brush. You're gonna need that to brush these things. And when you brush these you get things. So next we've got next we've got the next big thing which is a sniffer related plant thing. I don't even know what to say, it's just a plant. So first of all, we've got this, we've got the torch flower, I think. Yeah, torch flower. And we've got the pitcher plant. Now, my favorite, the pitcher plant, it looks so cool. And you've got 
designated seed. Here we've got a sniffer egg. Now the sniffer will get you these things. We're gonna see the sniffer a little bit later. So yeah, to get the sniffer egg, it's gonna be pretty annoying. You're gonna have to go to um, underwater archaeology sites. Yeah, water ruins archaeology sites. It's gonna be really annoying to get, but trust me, it's gonna be worth it. Because look at these beautiful plants. That's gorgeous. So, yep. This, this is the sniffer egg. Let's replace it before it hatches. So, next we've got two new things. Now, now from now we are going to be looking at the miscellaneous updates and things. And I will probably miss a few things. But this is just a rough update guide. So, let's look at the first thing. You've got the chiseled bookshelf. Now, I love this because you can actually just take books out. Put them in, out, like this, beautiful, great, I love this, wow, two fast walker book, four fast walker book, two fast walker books, and of course here we've got the, the amethyst skull sensor, I think it's the calibrated skull sensor, it's got like resonance and things like that, I don't know what that is, and then we've got another big thing, we've got Updated Minecraft heads. Now the, the heads and tails aren't upgraded, but when you put them on a note block and note block note block block and click the note block, the note block will make the sound of that mob if you've got the mob head on top. The zombie, creeper, and the dragon is the loudest one. And we've also got piglin. Now the piglin head is a brand new head added. And the way to get it is a little bit weird, and I'm not going to show you how to get it. <laughs> so finally, the last thing we are going to be looking at are the new mobs. Uh, th there we go, we see the new mob doing its thing. So the first new mob is the camel. Now, as you can see, the camel was sitting, but now it's gotten up. It it's got up. We've also got the sniffer. Now, the sniffer is the one that gets you all the new plants. And the camel, wow, hmm. the sniffer, hi sniffer, b b just just be aware, these two mobs are huge, the camel is like super tall and the sniffer is just ginormous, so yeah, two huge new mobs, hmm. and I think that concludes this brand new update, I hope you enjoyed this guide to the 1.20 update where i showed you all of the new things but of course i may have missed a couple but i, I did my best now i'm not going to go into the new mechanics and all the bugs fixes i'm only trying to to focus on the new mobs and the new blocks and new things so i shall say thank you and don't forget to like and subscribe and See you in a new 1.20 episode in a new Minecraft world. Actually, we're gonna keep the same Minecraft world. But yeah, see you. Goodbye. Goodbye. Goodbye.